Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with another review. We have some Slaych snakes figures. The Slaych boa figure is retired right now and I think the same is in the green anaconda. I would like to see Slaych producing a python figure. Let's have a closer look on them. First, you can see the green anaconda came with this nice protective base, you know. Let's remove it from here. Okay, there you have it. Very nice looking piece. And uh, I don't know guys if you noticed it, but the rattlesnake and the king cobra figures are actually very tiny and very small from the smallest figures, snake figures that I have and from other companies and from the slake line, according to the other. For example, take this, take this look about how much bigger the slay green anaconda looks and the rattlesnake yeah as you can see they look it looks very small tiny in front of him the same and the head look at the difference so let's start first with the boa this is a very nice you know looking figure it, you can see how many details it has even on this one you can see the eyes the black tongue is going out and if you compare the eye with my nail, you can see how small this is. And even though it's not slop, you don't see any sloppiness at all on this one. The same from the other side. And you can see all these small details that they have on this head and on the body. You know how many, how nicely sculpted this is. It has this ground coloration with this brownish and dark brownish spots over it, with a mix of colors right here. So many details on such a small figure, on a very reasonable price. You can see the Slake logo right here. I would like to see, you know, like I said, some figures with some on the Bullyland and Collecta brand. They also say in the figure inside. This one doesn't say that it's a boa, which is pretty sad. I would like to start Slake start giving, you know names underneath you know it, it's good for educational purposes as well so the kid could know what snake this is next let's have a look at the other retired figure green anaconda i have an issue with, with him with the eyes the eyes are not the same for example this one is okay but this one yeah it looks bigger because of the paint sloppiness but you don't notice it that much. So let's move on to the details of this one. You can see all of this nicely sculpted body with that brownish, greenish coloration that the, it has. Very well, very different from the boa coloration. It has this, you know, glossy look all over it, as you can see, all over its body because it's a snake. And snakes used to be like this and I love all this you know different mix of colors that they have used to make this look like that you know with these stripes and circles that it has all over its body and by looking at this figure you know you can see all these different mix of colors and stuff that that's going on all over it you can see the details it starts with some darker circles then it becomes lighter and then just circles without color inside very nice you know coloration is the same one from this part as well i think Slay has done a very nice job on this figure it looks amazing i also love the, the, the pose with this as well next we have the rattlesnake a very nice looking piece even though it's the smallest of them all it has so many details Again, it has this nice glossy look all over its body and you can see the eyes and the teeth have been painted very nicely. You don't see any sloppiness at all of this one. The mouth inside it has been very nicely sculpted and it has this mix of brownish and pinkish coloration. I don't know if you can actually see it from this camera. Right here. Look how nicely it looks. And the eyes have been painted perfectly. The nose right there has been done nice, excellent. I love the edge of the tail right here with this rattlesnake. Very nice with this glossy look. The slave symbol right here. 
underneath if it has, it has all of this nicely sculpted body on the belly of the, of the snake that it goes right all the way to his edge of the mouth to his chin the color combination that they use it actually pretty reminds me this one pretty much the same with the boa I mean this you know comes some side of ground earth is you know sand coloration it has also these brownish stripes all over it but they are different you know than this from boa and you can see that some light brown and darker brown all over there mixed very nicely together giving this this nice pose and the intimidating look like a rattlesnake it should be very nicely done I also like the fact that it has this you know circle right here that you can actually hold it or make put it helps you keep it better you know I like when snakes have these things you know they are circled all over themselves very nice looking piece even though it's so small next we have this one the king cobra figure from Slay as well it has this nice sculpted head with this black and white combination the symbol right here which is actually very nicely sculpted you can feel it on the hand you know it's sculpted on the body so you can feel it when you touch it which is very nice I love also this white and brown coloration that they use make it look you know more dangerous the teeth have been painted very nice as well the tongue is kinda brownish and I don't know why maybe it should be reddish or some sort of I don't know I don't really mind that much at all I love the eye of this figure look at the eye how menacing look it has the same in this one and you can see how small of this figure really is you know they have done so many details on this and the rest of the body is just a mix of browns different you know variations of brown there is the sleigh level right here very nicely sculpted the belly of the snake the under part of it yeah I think the on a cobra what you look at the most is the head the part of of the neck right here and the neck the ne part, the part of the neck until the head and I think this one looks very intimidated with this white and brownish black color combinations that they use and though it's such a small figure it definitely don't lack any of the tails most of the snake of the snake figures are very small comparison to some other from other companies and for example have a closer look on the Bullyland boa figure how big it looks comparison to them for example this is the slave boa and this is the Bullyland boa you can understand how many how much bigger the other snakes are and let's have a closer look on the collector brand right here this is the green anaconda look how they, yeah, they look pretty okay next to each other because this is has his body all over it but yeah comparison to, to the other figures they look very tiny and small comparison to this as you can see he's gonna eat them together probably I will remove the labels from them later on you know I don't want to have them attached to my figures like some collectors do I forgot that Slave had also, has also produced a black mamba snake which is this one right here so this lake has five snakes overall a black mamba, a king cobra, a rattlesnake, a boa and a green anaconda so that's really nice having a black mamba as well this, was, this came with the slave wildlife playset that I have the review you can find this on my Slay Playsets playlist it's very small as you can see but still very good quality nonetheless it has this dark brown coloration all over it and of course underneath it's just some sort of white or pale grey if you will you can see the eye how nicely sculpted it is 
and the mouth inside very nice looking piece too and here is the slave lever right here I don't think you can find this uh, from its own I think it comes as a set with a plan on Amazon it says black mamba's nest or something like that so it is very it is actually for to build the slave wildlife place it except if you take them all like I did so this was the snake it's pretty similar in size with the rattlesnake if you see maybe it's a little bit smaller actually these three are the smallest of the three, three of the three of the snakes that slave has this one is the smallest one I think these are all the snakes that slave has produced you know about the species green anaconda boa rattlesnake king cobra and black mamba I hope slave maybe produce and the python that would be cool as well anyway thanks for watching the video guys hope you enjoyed it and I helped you out I'm gonna see you next time bye